Welcome to U.S. Preclearance, operated by U.S. CBP. I'm Matt Davies, and I'm the Port Director here at CBP in Dublin Airport. CBP stands for Customs and Border Protection. U.S. Preclearance combines all aspects of the CBP inspection process to smooth your entry to the United States right here in Dublin. CBP officers conduct customs, agriculture, and immigration inspections all rolled into one quick and easy procedure. Using the U.S. Preclearance facilities at Dublin Airport involves a number of important steps. Please be sure to arrive well in advance of your flight. Most airlines recommend three hours. First, check in with your airline and check your bags. If you're flying onwards, they will be routed to your final destination. Next, go through airport security. Then, maybe some shopping and coffee or a bite to eat. Now, at Dublin Airport Terminal 2, there is one other process that will save you time and ease your stress when landing in the United States. Some passengers find traveling by air a stressful experience. We understand. Security is on everyone's mind these days. CBP tries to make passenger processing as uneventful as possible. If you need help due to a disability or another problem, let us know. If you have questions, ask and we'll be happy to explain our processes to you. If you still aren't satisfied, ask to speak to a supervisor, or write us a letter, or send us an email. So, what are the advantages of being pre-cleared at Dublin Airport? It means your arrival in the United States is treated similar to that of a domestic passenger. That means, generally, no further immigration checks or customs controls when you land. Shorter connection times are possible for onward flights. You simply collect your baggage, walk through the arrivals hall, and go straight to your taxi or car. USCBP is located at ground floor level in Terminal 2. Just follow the easy to read signs. Please arrive in the CBP processing area no later than 45 minutes prior to your scheduled departure. Keep an eye on the flight information display screens located throughout the airport. They'll help you know when to come to U.S. preclearance. Please realize that many agricultural items are prohibited or restricted from entering the United States, including certain foods that can be purchased at the airport. We recommend that passengers consume or discard prohibited or restricted items before entering U.S. preclearance. Red waste bins are provided at the entrance. A complete list of prohibited and restricted items can be found at CBP's website. What do you need to do when you arrive at U.S. preclearance? You must fill out a CBP declaration form that includes questions about the items you need to declare for customs, such as food, animals, and currency in excess of $10,000. For immediate family members residing in the same household and traveling on the same flight, one CBP declaration is sufficient for everyone. If you're not sure whether an item needs to be declared, it is best to let the CBP officer know. Failure to declare agricultural items can result in a $300 fine for a first offense. You must have your passport, and in some cases a visa, and of course, your boarding card. Once your documents are ready, you will join the queue for primary inspection by a U.S. CBP officer. The use of cameras and mobile phones is prohibited in the CBP area, including while in the queue. When your turn comes, the officer will ask you a number of questions about your trip. You may be asked, for example, where are you going, for how long, and for what purpose. Yep. You will be asked to identify your checked luggage, which you will see on a screen at the preclearance booth. Non-U.S. citizens will be asked to provide fingerprints and have their photograph taken by the CBP officer. Thank you. Have a nice day. If traveling under the Visa Waiver Program, the CBP officer will confirm that you have a valid ESTA. ESTA stands for the Electronic System for Travel Authorization. This is an automated system that helps to determine if you are eligible to travel to the United States or whether you pose any law enforcement or security risk. ESTA applications should be submitted online using the official U.S. government website at least 72 hours before your trip. The web address can be seen at the bottom of your screen and is also displayed on the website of the U.S. Embassy in Dublin. Please note that information on the current ESTA application fee can be found on these sites. Take care to accurately enter your passport number. Applicants can sometimes confuse a zero and the letter O. This simple error may cause you to be delayed on the day you travel, as you will be required to make a fresh ap ESTA application with the correct information. If you have been denied an ESTA or otherwise require a visa for the United States, you should contact the U.S. Embassy in Dublin. Further information is available on the Embassy website. If the CBP officer cannot make an immediate decision on your admissibility to the United States, you may be referred to the secondary inspection area for additional questioning. You may also be sent to the secondary inspection area to pay duty or taxes on goods being imported into the United States or for inspection of agricultural items. 
U.S. citizens, including those holding dual nationality, are required to travel on a valid U.S. passport when entering the United States. Applications for U.S. passports can be made to the U.S. Embassy in Dublin. Another security checkpoint exists just beyond CBP to screen passengers. The standards implemented at this checkpoint are comparable to those enforced in the United States. Please remove your footwear and jackets and remove electronics from any carry-on bags you may have. Well over 90% of passengers are processed through CBP in less than 30 minutes. After passing through the final security checkpoint just beyond CBP, you simply walk to your departure gate, generally less than five minutes away. While you're waiting for your flight to be called, there are further opportunities to shop or sit back and enjoy a coffee. We look forward to welcoming you to the United States of America.